A popular sports program will participate in Mizzou's football game against South Carolina next week. Ashley has more on that on What's Trending. Thanks, Nick and Juliet. ESPN's College Game Day announced it's heading to Columbia, South Carolina for the Gamecocks football game against Mizzou. College Game Day typically chooses its weekly site based on a high level of interest for the football game taking place. If you recall, South Carolina delayed Mizzou's clinching of the SEC East last year after Missouri after beating Missouri in double overtime on Furrow Field. Not to pour salt in the wounds or, you know, in case you've been living under a rock, Missouri experienced a last minute loss to Indiana Saturday. So game day choosing this game comes as a bit of a surprise. South Carolina coach Steve Spurrier told reporters on a conference call he heard there was a good chance ESPN would show up if both Mizzou and South Carolina won last week, but he said, I guess only one of us had to win. Meanwhile, Mizzou football's Twitter timeline has been pretty quiet since Saturday, sending out just a few tweets since its loss to the Hoosiers. I think Zach Evans is the only person <laughs> in Mid-Missouri who was happy about that win. Zach, of oh, course, went to do Indiana. Do we want to talk about that? Are we, are we allowed to say that? I guess, all right. Well, he did go to Indiana. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, yes. Sure. He, he has, has to be loyal reason. to his yeah. alma mater. Yes, of course. Well, good for Zach then. All right. But his dad, he said, wasn't very happy. No, his dad's a Mizzou alum. <laughs> That's right. All right. A Mizzou product has had an inspiring start to the NFL season after spending all last season healing a knee injury. Jeremy Macklin led Philadelphia Eagles receivers yesterday with eight catches for 154 yards and a touchdown. The performance is one of the best he's had in his five-year NFL career. Macklin's currently tied for fifth in most catching yards in the NFL with 296 so far. He tweeted last night that the Eagles are 3-0, stayed pretty quiet about his good performance. On the topic of the Philadelphia Eagles, Macklin's teammate Jason Peters was trending for quite a while after being ejected from yesterday's game. As you see in this football vine, after Eagles quarterback Nick Foles was hit late by Chris Baker, Jason Peters, number 71, who you'll see run up here, he began a brawl with the Redskin defensive lineman. Peters told reporters he was just protecting his quarterback. So, Dick and Juliet, Peters is going to have to pay a pretty hefty fine. I guess if we're going to talk about football, we might as well talk about the Philadelphia Eagles rather than anything closer to home. To appeal his NFL suspension. Ashley Zavala has that and some other trending topics. Ashley? Thanks, Dick and Juliet. An ongoing trending topic in social media is the saga of Ray Rice. The former Ravens running back will try to appeal his indefinite suspension for playing in the NFL. TMZ and ESPN both report Rice's central argument for the appeal is that the controversial video that triggered the suspension was edited. The Associated Press reports there is a longer video from the scene that took place on the elevator between Rice and his wife. ESPN reports the highly publicized video was a cleaned up condensed version of the actual video. But how about some uplifting news from the NFL? After a thrilling overtime win against the Denver Broncos, Seattle Seahawks cornerback Deshaun Sheed proposed to his girlfriend at midfield with plenty of media around to capture the moment. If you look closely at the picture I showed you before and right here, you'll see teammate Richard Sherman. He took a video of it as well. Very so good. some good and bad news out of the NFL. All right. Yeah. I love yeah. surprise wedding proposals. They get me every time. They're the sweetest. They are. <laughs> They're all right.